Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to design responsively in Oxygen. First things first, how do you preview your design at different breakpoints? Well, that's up here at the top left of the builder interface. We can view it at full screen sizes, the page container width, the less than 992 pixel breakpoint, the less than 768 pixel breakpoint, and the less than 480 pixel breakpoint and we can click them to step down through them and see how our design looks at each step of the way. Now let's start by tweaking the responsive styles of this first section where we have a heading and a button kind of side by side laid out horizontally there. Let's see how it looks at the page container breakpoint. Looks fine, 992 pixels looks fine. Less than 768 things start to get cramped. So what do we wanna do here? We want to lay this out vertically instead of horizontally at this breakpoint. So while we have this breakpoint selected, we simply make the changes we want and they're saved on that breakpoint. So now if we step back up to full screen, you'll see we still have our horizontal layout, but you can see our little border indicator up here tells us we have some settings set on this breakpoint and we can click it to preview. We can also go ahead and click the red X in our little flyout to remove these styles if we decide we don't like them. Now let's check on the smallest breakpoint. And we have a bit of a weird issue with the text layout here. So we're gonna go to advanced typography and we're just gonna center everything. And then we might also step our font size down a little bit. I think 32 pixels looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at how to hide and show things based on the breakpoint. So in this next section, I have two images. On desktop, I'm fine with the two images being shown. But let's say on tablets, I want one of the images to disappear. I'm gonna select my breakpoint and then select the element I want to hide. In this case, it's an image inside of a div, so I'm gonna select the div that the image is inside of. And I'm gonna go to Advanced Layout and set it to display none. That's going to hide that image. Now, if I go back up to a bigger breakpoint, both images are there. If I go down to a smaller breakpoint, that image is now hidden. Now, if we wanna do the reverse and we want to show it on mobile, but hide it on desktop, all we need to do is go up to full screen, set it to display none, and then go down to the breakpoint where we want to start showing it and set it to display block or flex. Now, if we go up to our full screen breakpoint, that image is hidden, but at the less than 992 pixel breakpoint, we see the image. Next up, let's look at some of the responsive settings for columns as columns are widely used in modern website layouts. So columns have some responsive behavior baked in. For example, if we go down to less than 992 pixels, the columns element is gonna go ahead and stack vertically. But we can change that breakpoint. If we select the columns element itself and go over to the primary tab of the properties pane, you can see that we have the columns set to stack vertically at less than 992 pixels. But if we want that to happen somewhere else, we can change it. So less than 768. Now at 992, the columns are still side by side. But if we go down one more breakpoint, you can see that they start to stack. Now let's say we have two columns elements. Let's go ahead and reverse the order of the second one by dragging this div up. And now we want to adjust the way these behave on mobile because if we look at when they're stacking vertically, the first column element has the text and then the image, and the second one has the image and then the text. There's a good way to take care of this. We can just go to the primary tab of the properties pane with the columns element selected and go to the reverse column order dropdown. Right now it's set to never, but on this particular columns element, we wanna set it to reverse at 768 pixels. So now both of our columns have a similar layout and it looks much, much better. So next let's talk about width versus max width. Generally when setting the width of an element, you don't wanna set it using a static pixel value. For example, on this text, I've set it to a width of 480 pixels under advanced size and spacing, which is fine until you get down to a very small breakpoint like this and you can see that the text overflows. 
So to avoid that problem, we can go back up to the full screen breakpoint and we can adjust this logic a little bit. Instead of using the width field, we can use the max width field, which means it's going to be 480 pixels at most, but it can be smaller. So then when we step down to a smaller breakpoint, you can see that it's going to adjust to the size of the viewport. This is an important principle to remember when using oxygen because you have a lot of freedom, but you have to be really mindful about how you use the controls that are available. Now, a couple other things to mention when it comes to responsive design in oxygen is you can change these breakpoints up here in the builder. These pixel values are not hard coded. We can go to settings, global styles, width and breakpoints, and we can change all four breakpoint values, page width, tablet, landscape, and portrait. Note that the breakpoints cannot be larger than the one above them. They do have to cascade down in size, but this gives you some freedom to adapt to say larger viewports or very specific device widths. Another thing to keep in mind with the way the web has developed, we now have things like clamp, which can be used via areas like global styles and headings. For example, our heading font size is currently set to a static 36 pixels, but if we wanted to use something like clamp, we can choose the none unit, and then we can type in our clamp or other CSS function value, which can give you fluid font sizes. That's a bit out of scope to dive into very deep in this video, but it's something to keep in mind as you continue building with oxygen. So again, this is Elijah with the oxygen team, and that's how to design responsively using oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.